Hello universe, I'm here. It's Josh Wasabi, and it's time to play Skyrim Hardcore. So we're gonna play the special edition. We're gonna play Hardcore. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click go so that loud music in my ears goes away. Um, I am using a shit ton of mods. I've got well over a hundred, um, including alternate start, live another life, uh, which I think is really really cool. Um, again, gonna play Hardcore. Uh, so that means I get one life. Which means I'm going to play the character I'm comfortable with. And I've already, I've done a lot of testing just to make sure my mods are stable. I had a couple of combat AI mods that were absolutely destroying me. Which would be fine if I was just doing a playthrough. But if I'm doing hardcore, I don't need it to be that freaking difficult, you know? Uh, so I, I disabled those. I'm not using those combat AI mods. I do have some other modules throw in like boss encounters and, and wild crazy animals out there so I have to pay attention and, and know what I'm doing otherwise I will die by one you know one monster that I just run into in the woods and hopefully I don't do that anyway where is the where's the preset I really I uh, liked that's super cool right there all right so no wait I'm not done yet shit okay so anyway, I always play female characters. I'm gonna turn the dirt down a little bit, um, and we definitely need some scars, scars, and I'm okay with that. That's that's fine. I only want to change the eyes color because there's this. By the way, I am colorblind, so I don't really know if I'm doing anything right here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going to go with that. I don't know what that is, but it's dark and ominous. I like it. And I think that's about it. Mouth, she's fine. She's not pouty face in it or duck face in it or anything stupid. And then we're going to go hair. I have a mod that adds a sh Nope, that's not hair. Damn it. I have a mod that adds a shit ton of awesome freaking hair, and I think I know exactly where the one is that I want. And it's right about... Is that it? That's it. That's it. Right? Because that's cool, but no. This one. The hair down, kind of in the face, and fluked out in the back. I like it. And then again, I'm colorblind, so I don't know how to make this work the way I want it to, but I want something sort of vibrant. Stand out and go pow! There it is. That's the one. Okay, let's name. What are we gonna name her? You know what? We're gonna go. Acorn. Yes. Okay. So, if you have never seen it, this is where you start with the um, alternate live, live another life. You're going to see a bunch of messages in the top left about all the different mods activating and starting. Which is super cool. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so here's the deal. I did not install any mods that I consider to be cheats. I will list... Ah, damn it. I gotta do this real quick. Um, I will put a list of all the mods that I have in... Done. Okay in the uh, description of the first video here. If I manage to survive and make more videos, I'll just link back to the first video and all of them so that you can see the list of mods. All of the mods are going to have links next to them. Some of them came from the Nexus. Some of them came from Bethesda.net uh, just through the game. I am playing on PC, uh, obviously. Um, so that's, that's what's happening. Okay. Um, one of the mods I have, though, is... Um, is a, uh, it, it makes it, uh, damn it, I can't talk. It enhances the graphics, uh, uh, saturation. It increases saturation, and I love that, uh, because I'm colorblind, and so it just makes everything pop for me. Hopefully it doesn't make, no, that's the wrong thing. I need, oh no, that's right. Because you can get the spell, or you can get the spell tome one. There, okay. So, Spell Tome Enhanced Graphic added. That is normally located at the in Whiterun, um, which eventually we'll get to, but I don't know when, and I don't want to play, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, and then 
change the graphics to how I want them to be. That's not what I need. I need this. Books, let's read that. Okay. Let's go to the spells. It's a power. You equip it. You go... And everything gets... Br Some of it's a little brighter. We'll see what happens inside of dungeons. If it's too bright, I don't know. We'll see. This is supposed to be pretty dark. But everything has just more color. Obviously in here, it, it's a, sh you know, a shitty little cave dungeon place. So it's not going to look super pretty. Which is fine. But I also need to go back now and unequip that. So I don't keep turning it on and off when I accidentally hit the Z button. Okay, and there's a couple of other things you see in there that you can adjust some of the settings and the mods through that. So that is the only thing that I, I wanted to do, and I want to do it on camera so you guys know what I'm up to and what I'm what I'm doing. Is I don't want to cheat. There's lots of stuff that makes like Dragon Bones weigh nothing, that gives you you can wear infinite rings and amulets, and I mean, go play it, have fun with that stuff. But I don't want to cheat like that in a game where I'm supposed to be trying. And even when I play my playthroughs, I don't like things that feel like cheats. Um, Take a look at my mod list. Maybe some of those you consider to be cheats. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Approach so when you get here, and choose where your new life shall begin. You have you get to pick what life you're going to start. Now in the special edition, this is all you get. In the other edition, like there were some add-ons that added a whole bunch of stuff, but it's pretty cool. Um, I was attacked in Left 4 Dead. I love that one. That's really fun. I don't think that's a good idea for a hardcore mod because sometimes you start out um, up in uh, uh, Solstheim. And and that's a that's not a place to be at level one with nothing because you don't have any weapons or armor. Ah, uh, I also so with special edition they don't have Skizzy or SKSE out for it yet, and so it doesn't have a lot of the mods that I like for UI tweaking and making things easier to select and whatnot. So that's going to annoy me. You're probably going to hear me complain about having to go click on things, and I'm going to select the wrong dialogue option eventually uh, because I'm used to picking whatever's right there regardless of what is highlighted or whatever. So I, I don't know. I gotta be careful with that stuff. What do I want to do? Camping in the woods. I think I want to go camping in the woods. My character is a wood elf. She's gonna be an archer. She's gonna use two-handed weapons when she has to get into physical combat. She wants to stay at a distance and take your ass out from sneak. Um, and so we're gonna do that. Oh, I could totally play the assassin skilled Dark Brotherhood. Sorry, I'm in Morrowind mode. That wasn't assassin skilled either, was it? I don't know. Why don't I keep calling it that? It's the Assassin's Guild, that's why I call it that. The Dark Brotherhood. Huh. Um, shit, you can start in that guild. I forgot about that. That could be super cool, because that could give me a real, a hell of a, a bonus a boost. I'm going to do that. That's where we're going to start. Sweet. Hell yeah. Okay. Which guild are you a new recruit for? So, obviously, I haven't made as many decisions as I, as I should. Ah, a child of Sivis, I see. May you serve the Void well. Well, thank you, Mara. Surprised you're so nice about that okay before i go sleep in the bed and start the actual game i do want to check some settings so um i'll be right back i don't want to bore you with that i want to make sure that my hud and all that stuff for everything is set correctly so hang on one second i'll be right back okay and here we go everything is fine mostly i had to tweak a couple of things but we're good so let's get right up in this we're gonna go serve sifis and i have to remember to be careful as shit so i love it because you start it starts you right here, right inside the brother. You don't have to go kill Greylot the kind. Hi, Astrid. Oh, at last. I hope you found oh, the place God, sorry. all right. <laughs> I was looking at my feet. You intimidate me. Well, what happens now? What happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. That's cool how that We're lines up with the after. start another life thing. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. Well, so yep, if you've played this quest before, you learn that that's not quite the way. Also, I love playing the silent part, so we're going to be mm. silent as shit. Yes, the silence suits you. Yeah, it does. It gives you an air of mystery. Oh, now, you don't even know. down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. A jab? You. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Yes, Soon, ma'am. the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, uh, but one last thing. Uh-huh. <gasps> A welcome home present. Yay! The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm excited. It will serve you well in all your endeavors. it's actually really good armor. Endeavors. I mean, I think it is for what I want to do. And the conversation forces Be me sure to Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. I will totally not do that, They're but okay. They're all very eager to meet all you. All right. Yay, let's get, let's get equipped Let's get equipped. Uh, there's that. Yeah. Oh, and I hate this. I hate this menu. 
Ebony dagger. Oh, I don't want your ebony dagger. Why the hell do I... God, that's expensive. Where the fuck did I get that? What the hell? I don't think I have a mod that gives me that. Oh, that's expensive as shit. I'll go sell the hell out of that. I started with leather armor, and now I'm upgrading to this, which is fine. Poison resistance. I move silently. That's gorgeous. Bows do more damage. Yes. Backstab does double damage. So, definitely playing a stealth character. We will go sell the shit out of this to somebody. What do we have? We have that. Let's favorite that. Yes. And apples, whatever. Books. These are part of the mods and stuff. And yeah, whatever. Okay. Keys. Yep. All right. I don't want that. I want a bow. Well, hopefully I can sell some of this stuff and can I just take... Oh, I can. Well, fuck yeah. I'm going to loot the shit out of your place. Why wouldn't I? And go sell it all to the guy downstairs, right? Right, right, right? Okay. Anyway, so starting in a safe place is pretty cool. Um, not like the default intro where you gotta fight through that stuff. I mean, it shouldn't be that freaking hard, frankly. Um, but I, I never know. Uh, again, when I was testing and I had those combat mods enabled. Oh, yes, nice, magic it. That's valued at 90. You have learned the secrets of crafting Dark Brotherhood. Bandoliers and pouters. <gasps> oh, that's freaking sweetness. I can still sell that. It's like worth 90. The hell. I'll take that. And that. And nope. Yeah. Okay. Shrouded shoes. Shrouded robes. Shrouded hood. Shrouded cow maskless. Shrouded hand wraps. So these look exactly the same, but they're not. They're actually a little different. Um, oh, hi. Hi, hi Astrid. I I'm just... I'm, I'm inspecting everything to make sure it's up up to par. Why are you staring at me like that? Okay, so the maskless one doesn't cover up my face, but I like the idea of covering my face. Double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. Now, that's cool. So the backstab right here, backstab, that's the same thing. I'm not going to be using one-handed weapons, though, so we're not going to use that. Oh, I didn't talk about that. So here's the shrouded hood that's making sneak better, whereas this does bow does damage. So... I want to keep that and, and use it um, uh, when I need to sneak around. If I really need to sneak, that's that's a big bonus right there. Um, these are the same. So it's like these have armor. It's the boots. They have armor. The shoes do the same thing, but they don't have armor. Um, so like you could be a wizard and not wear any armor and, and still have a lot of the benefits here. So that's a cool idea. I like that. And I will definitely hold on to this one to switch it out. If I can remember, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of spell casting. I'm going to play archery. Uh, it's going to be her primary thing, sneaking, archery. But then she's going to use two-handed weapons, and that's actually a slight um, deviation from my norm. I normally use a shield and one-handed weapon so that I'm more protected uh, in combat. But I'm going to use a two-handed weapon because you can block with that as well. Um, and I want her to just beast it. I want her to be like, I'm going to sneak, I'm going to take you out, and if you come at me, I'm going to hit you with the biggest damn thing I can find. That's just the character in play. So we are going to play. A little bit of role play. A little bit of role play. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not getting really, really into it. Um, but but I'm going to play this character as somebody who is, like, done with everybody's shit. So, like, right now she's like, Astrid, yeah, whatever. You're cool, but um, I'm going to do me. I'm here because I want to fucking kill people because I'm pissed at the world. And that's how it's going to happen. And I don't want to pick that up because I know what that is and I know what it starts. And I can't get rid of it until it's done. And no, no, again, no, I'm not picking it up. Uh, whoa, hey, I will take that, and that, and yes, obviously, my character will steal the shit out of anything, because she don't give a shit, she don't give a shit, if you let her take it, she'll fucking take it, and she gonna sell it, or she gonna use it. Okay, uh, so actually, let's get a good look at her character, right here, standing right here, howza, that's so awesome, now I can't see her cool ass hair. There is a mod not on SC. I hope they bring it to it, but I think it actually used the, the skizzy thing um, to remove the, the helmet and not ever show it, even though you maintain the perks. I like that in these games. I like that you can do that sometimes um, because I picked out really cool hair and scars and face paint and eyes and stuff, and now it's all covered up. But she looks badass as hell. Like, that would scare me if she come at me like that. A little bit. I'd be a little frightened. Okay. Again. So. Again. I will try to play in third person, but I do prefer first person for a lot of things like combat. So I'll probably be switching back and forth a little bit. Oh yes, have some Oh yes, please, kind sir. 
My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely That's star. creepy as shit. <laughs> Kill Mark for death. So what about you, Festus? No, hold on. I want to check. I'm probably not going to use that. I do want to favorite this because that I'm going to need to use that. Um, oh, I can't even. Oh, that's right. But I have powers, right? No, no, no. Well, shit. Doesn't. Doesn't. Eh. But, oh, wait. I have I have mods that modify the way these things work. So I don't know if that's going to work. Help. Shredded armor full set. Increase my armor rating by 25. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't fucking know that was a thing. Hells yeah. Oh yeah, she has the green pack. Ritually eat a humanoid corpse by looting it with while sneaking with weapons sheathed, raising three random skills by 25 for 1,200 seconds. Oh, that's right. I can randomly eat a corpse and get badass. It's three random skills, though, so it might not even help me. A bird periodically indicates an animal to hunt for extra loot or the nearest foe in combat, reducing armor by 400 points in magic resistance. By 50. What the hell? I don't even know what that is. Wild senses. Stand still for four seconds while sneaking to sense moving targets within 350 feet. That's How cool. We might have to try that. Jesus. Oh, I don't. Yes, what do you guys want? I wish you would do stuff. Your tales of wizardry. I'm supposed to go see who? Nazir. Always Are you Nazir? Festus. My contract went oh, the guy looks well, interesting. You know. So I do have a mod. Called something complete character makeover, total nine. character makeover, something like that. It makes all the characters look super freaking pretty. Inside out. Why are you damn oh. messy? What of your latest Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant. Do they meet around and talk about murdering people all the time? Oh, Is this Nazir? So you're the newest. Ha! Ah, I just ended all their conversations. I love it. I've heard quite a bit about you. Dwindling and dysfunctional. Silence. Ah, Silence is all you get from me, Nazir. Although I like this guy, he's got this very that Persian for your targets, thing going. But you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Yeah, you're supposed to pick different things. Did she now? I guess. Well, as it turns out, there are for different characters to make them like you more. I don't know. We haven't had the chance to complete. I'm not in this to make other people more. like me. Dribbling in from time to time, I'll assign them to you as they become available. To be completed at your leisure. Good. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either, but they'll keep you busy. I like Just to be busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. Huh. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait dialogue. and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Cool. Um, let's do it. Well then, let's get started. I've three. got three available right Ooh. now. Let's go Your kill some people. Are the beggar Narfi, a beggar? What do you do? Miller named Enodius Papias. He's a dick. And Baytil, a mind boss. So she. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Yes, sir. Now tell me about my targets. And Narfi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Uh, 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 laugh at me again. I will stab you in the face. She so I might keep that dagger. Husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate. Oh, I remember fighter. this. Not this contract, but I remember her in the game, and there's competing mine things. I didn't know that they used to be married. That's pretty damn funny. He lived just guy? outside Angus Mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now, Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And well, he's right. He's right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so you much, Nazir. Kill, my friend. I have Best stuff to, to sell. It. Don't you sell? You don't sell shit, well, do you? Well, well, it's raw, it's raw meat. meat. Whatever. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. Is that a week of um? Right he doesn't. There. Freaking sell me anything. I need to. I need a fucking bow, and I want a two-handed weapon before I go off I trying to kill people. What happened. 
New sister. May I offer my most sincere Aww. welcome to our family? That's so sweet. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. I don't Until really next want to time, talk sister. to them. It's the part with the severed head I find Wait. most impressive. Do I need to? Now a child could have talk to them in order to initiate? Because don't I get services with them? Arcane. Shouldn't they? Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. Well, you go your fuck way. Fuck, that's I'll creepy down there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, goodbye. Kill lots of people. Hail Sith. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh, I'd love that one. You're you need going help, to child. love it here. We have a lot of fun. I know she's not a child, but still. Just like any family. There we go. A bit of this and a bit of that. Yeah, well, you're gonna totally buy. You don't have a bit of this and a bit of that. You have shit. And you won't even buy anything from me. Apples! I don't fucking want those apples. Can't Two health. All about what the, the next hell? Yay! Really I'm happened. glad that you're excited. Oh, you mean in that manor house during okay. the thunderstorm? Okay. I. Bruh, why can't. This is the Dark Brotherhood. Why don't they have like a bow I can get? Isn't there is there a bow hidden somewhere in this damn hideout? Why don't I know this? I feel like it'd be stealing if I take it though. So you gotta unlock the shit. Is there anything in here? Nope. Well shit. Okay, we're gonna Hey you, do you Welcome my sister. Welcome Zara. to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. Good. I'm glad they're very you diverse. Just trust in Astrid, follow her orders. Not like you'll the storm cloaks. Here. Jesus Christ. Until so next like, time, okay. sister. Why is this guy banging away on stuff but he won't sell me freaking weapons? Why is he being a dick? Sell me something. Let me guess. God damn Astrid it. failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorite. Well, that's probably a good idea. Okay, so we need to head out into the world. I don't like that because I know where this is located. We... <laughs> so, I will be saving from time to time for the sake of, of hopefully... I'll just do quick saves, but hopefully not... You know, if, if it crashes, you know, then I can come back and start over. Uh, it not And not, like, all the way over. Anyway. Um, hang on. Since I don't have anything but this... I guess I'm equipping it. And I'm going to favorite it because it could be my um, assassination tool if I sneak up behind somebody and whatnot. Let's go to... Um... Oh, shit. Now I can't remember the name of that place. Uh, it's this little town right down here near where I am. Map it out. Right here. Falkreath. That's right. Okay. So, we're going to try to sneak. I usually play without much HUD, as you can tell. I got the compass turned off. Um, in my other normal Skyrim game, I have a really cool mod that I don't need the bars at the bottom to tell me my life, stamina, or magicka. Uh, the screen gets bloody when my health goes down, and I get blurry vision when my stamina goes down. Damn, that thunder is loud as shit. Um, and, uh, everything gets desaturated and becomes black and white when my magicka goes down. So... Um, so it was really cool, and I really like that. Um, in this one, I got the compass turned off. I have the bars at the bottom on. Let's see if I run. You can see it's just really, really dim. Because I don't like it impeding on my um, gameplay. I like to be as immersed in it as I can. In fact, my little icons for my... Oh, that was a weird FPS drop. For my FPS counter and uh, my recording um, status uh, are distracting to me personally. And then this, so the crosshair is not there except when I crouch. And I don't like that because I don't want to know that I'm sneaking. I don't know. I kind of want to pay, have to pay attention to whether they're looking toward me or not. Uh-oh. But now it's going to tell me. And it... What did you say? I, I don't want any. Oh. It's raining. How drunk are you? What the hell? Can I kill them just because I want to? Why are you coming toward me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want any of your shit. I will mur I will murder you. 
Oh, that's the rain. I thought I was hearing footsteps. Oh, it's this thing. Hi! Hello! How you doing, Foxy? You so Foxy! Foxy! Alright. So, I'm excited to eat a humanoid for the first time. I've never done that in this game. That's, uh, I think that's Ordinator. That's the name of the mod. Changes the perks and stuff. Rorikstead. Helgen. I need to go... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Run! I don't think I can take this fucker on right now. I have no idea. I don't think I have the ability to do so. Is he coming? Oh, shit. This is... I'm headed toward this... Oh, shit. Put that away. Nope, that's not the button. That's the button. What was that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not running into the city. Running into the village. The guards can kill this guy, right? Right? I'll go into a shop and I'll be fine. Oh, did he just murder some traveler on the road? Sorry, bro. You gotta learn how to run faster. Holy shit, am I? Oh, this isn't the village. Where the fuck? Ah! Hi. Hello. What do you want? Oh. Got some God damn it. Deliver. Don't be running at me like that. How the fuck do you think you are? Oh, so look at it. Look at the difference he is with the character makeover mod. It's freaking awesome. To everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh, the new lady in charge of the orphanage. I'm getting out of here. Why did you stop me? If that, if I would have been killed, also. So there are rules, kind of like there were with my Tomb Raider uh, attempt at this that I failed at. But um, there are some. Whoa! Hello. Holy shit! Those things terrify me when they run at me because in real life they would kill you not like intentionally but if they ran into you you could die hi hello how you doing someone do something <laughs> you're the guard oh god i'm in trouble okay where am i am i oh i went the wrong fucking direction no don't put that down forget how to move this and try to click and drag i went the wrong goddamn direction oh shit now i gotta go back where the skeleton was Fuck. Okay, so the rules, like, if if somebody like that yanks me into combat and then I get killed because I didn't know there was something around me, I don't think I'm going to call that. I, I feel like that's some bullshit. Um, whoa, that's a goddamn bear. Okay. Definitely not taking that dude on. Um, he's not going to hurt you if you just stay out of his way. I do have a couple of mods. One through the Bethesda.net mods and then one through Nexus that make animals act a little more realistic so that bear, instead of seeing me and immediately charging and try to murder me, which doesn't make any damn sense at all, is protective of a certain area. And you come near him, he will attack you. All right. Hand over your oh, value Jesus bird. Christ. You like that scared me. Okay, okay, okay. He's not going to believe this, is he? Yes, actually. You look like you are lousy with gold. I'm I am not to going to ask again. Can I outrun him? That's the question. Can I outrun him? Because I don't know if I can beat him right now. I don't have any of the weapons I want or need. I don't want him to take my shit. Um, I think I want to try to outrun him. Right past that bear and towards that guard. Um, hopefully they'll defend me. <laughs> oh god, do I want to do that? I don't want to die. I don't want to... Okay, fine. Fine. Ha, what a coward. Didn't even put up a proper fight. Well, we will see about that. I can't... Run right into the bear and die. I'm going to take my shit back. I kind of want to murder him. Walk right into the bear. Into the bear? I'm getting out of here. You look like you're running right toward the thing. Oh, that was the guy that said that. Okay. Yes. Oh. -ho. Well, only problem is going to be getting the stuff... See, that's why I didn't go towards that bear. Oh, shit. How am I gonna... Oh, fuck. Can I get... <laughs> shit. I want to get my stuff back. Can I get... Oh, shit. If he looks at me and starts growling, then I have a problem. But until then, I'm okay. Oh... Oh shit! 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 Oh god, he's too fast. Oh fuck, he's too fast. Oh no, I can't, I can't do this right now. Ah, uh, do not, do not die right here. Holy shit, come on man. That's not how you do hardcore. Where the fuck is that guard? 
Is it coming? Did it bail? Did it leave me alone? Is it done? Will it stop? Oh, hey, what the fuck, man? Oh, I bet I could have. Oh, can I? Can I go get my stuff now? Oh, shit. That guard. That guard is having at it. Looks like she's gonna win, too. Holy shit. Kinda wanna go help her, but mostly I wanna just go around and get my shit. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. No, shit! Is that guard, like, invincible? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, y'all fight that fucking bear. I'm gonna go get this shit. My stuff back from this guy. And anything he wants to... Oh, man! Jackpot! That I can sell. That I can sell. That I can sell. Those I don't want. Get a torturer's hood. Is the bear done? Did you kill it? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going back! Bye! Okay. Quick save. Just in case it crashes on me again. Woo! And you know what? As sad as it is, that little bit was like 30 minutes of me playing. I know I was talking a little bit, so I'm gonna run this episode a little bit longer than that. I wanna... Why the hell? God, I thought I heard the thing galloping at me. Is it galloping? For a bear? I don't fucking know. Turn the wrong way. I thought that said Falkreath this way. Did I not read the sign? I don't know. Shit. See, I gotta be careful like that. I can't be I can't be walking up in on shit like that. Oh, Falkreath was back. It even pointed me back that way. What sees me? I don't like that. What is seeing me? That's another reason I don't like to have that cursor on. But I do want to sneak because I want to be able to get around stuff. Also, if I'm gonna be a sneaky character. I kind of want to sneak most of the time. So I can... Well, hello. Okay. Um, it froze. It froze. It froze. Well, that's why we save. That's why we quick save. Is it going to unfreeze or is it broken? Shit. I don't know what I did. Yep, it's frozen. Okay, folks. Well, you know what? I'm going to call it there since that was about 30 minutes. Um, I know it didn't do much except run away from a bear and a thief and uh, something else, I think. Anyway, uh, I survived, though. Hurrah! Hurrah! And I have cool armor. I don't have shit for weapons, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm running away. Um, next episode, we're going to get to Falkreath. I swear to God, we're going to get there. And uh, we're going to get some weapons that we can use. And then we're going to head out and... I don't know. That might be my base of operations for a minute, just so I can go try to like kill some animals and come back and... And get get some skills going, get some health going, um, so I'm I'm less afraid to go out in the world because I'm going to be a little bit afraid uh, for this hardcore playthrough. Anyway, um, I did just quick save it, so hopefully I can get back to that. I'll probably test that here to make sure it's working. Uh, but that's what I'm going to call for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Goodbye, universe.